Hey, hey, Iggy here. What's up, guys? Faltech Unlimited. And uh, I get asked all the time, uh, what do you do with scraps? Plain and simple. Do you throw them out? Do you save them? Do you make something out of them? What do you do? Well, I'll tell you. Look at this. Yeah, I got some there. And I got some in there. And I do. I save pretty much everything. And it sucks because I produce cutoffs a lot faster than I use the cutoffs obviously so I'm starting to just go ahead and throw it out but I see that as throwing money away because obviously I have to purchase the Kydex given when you sell the holster it covers the cost of it but still I got money invested in it I don't want to throw it out so there's different things that I do to uh, make things out of scrap and obviously it's small stuff because cutoffs are very small but I'm going to show you something that I do that's actually quite popular. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. And it's two pieces of Kydex and it's two eyelets. That is it. You could add more if you want. You don't have to. Um, I do it all on my foam press. Again, you don't have to. I'm going to do the first part on here. And uh, literally, it won't take long at all. And it's just on how you want to cut it and how you want to design it. And the hardest part is figuring out what colors you want to use. And obviously, with scraps, we have a lot to do. So, um, I'm just getting into this. So, that's going to heat up. I'm going to sneeze. That's going to heat up. We're getting the moisture out of this pad. That's something you always want to do. And then once that goes, we're just going to throw one piece of Kydex in there out of the two we're using. Because we're not bending that piece yet. And we need one perfectly flat. Come down here, figure out what I want to use. Look at that. Black carbon fiber. I think uh, that'll actually look good. So we'll choose that one. And then what goes good with black carbon fiber? More black carbon fiber. Nah, no, let's do something else. Safety orange. What do we got here? Lots of colors. Lots of colors. What's this? All right, you know what? Screw it, let's do that. We'll do um, Coyote Brown with that. What I did, let me find a, uh, a business card here, is I took a business card. I think we can figure out what we're making now, a business card holder. Bam, business card. And I took a piece of wood that was cut off from my benches, and I made this. So here we go. Cards, keep out. What I did is I traced pretty much a card and I gave just a little bit of an outline so it has room to uh, you know to wiggle in there and it's not tight. And then that is the mold. So you can press this on your, um, on your press. So what you would do is you would lay the wood down on here and then you just foam on top of it and that's it. But on vacuum, I actually haven't built it on vacuum yet, but I figured why not? So what we need, we just needs to come to like here on both sides and then come down to here and that's it. This is done by eye, nothing else, but we're going to go ahead and just throw a piece over here and be done with it. And covering fiber, pattern down, get the dust off of that and throw this on here. See you in 145. And this is going to be the side we use, and all I'm going to do is mark the top of the cards. You can literally, you can do whatever you want. It can be however deep you want, it can be however shallow you want, it don't matter. All I'm going to do is just cut straight across on the bandsaw. All right, still very simple. 
So we went ahead, I cut it, it's flat, yada, yada, yada. Take one of your things of tape, whatever one you want to use, figure out where you want to cut it. I think I'll do right there. How's that look? Nah, we can go. We can go smaller. And we'll just erase that line. Just go. All right. I mean, I like that. So, and like I said, you could also we could cut it down here. Maybe we will. We'll see, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that on the scroll saw. And as you can tell, I went ahead and cut it. And uh, I'll clean it up with the Dremel and then go ahead and hit it. But that's uh, that's what that's going to look like. And what we're going to do here as well is grab one of your drill guides. And you can see it fits perfectly, but obviously this is in the way. But we'll see. Maybe I'll just cut that out real quick. Perfect. All right, let's take your drill guide. Figure out a good spot for this. And I like to go one in each corner. You can do, you can go all the way out here. You could go anywhere you want. I don't care. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drill. going to clean those before we throw some eyelets in go ahead and figure out where you want to cut it uh, we're literally going to cut just right underneath uh, on both ends and we're going to cut straight across and then we'll get some excess off too but I'm gonna go ahead and cut that because you need this piece finished. All right, once you get to this point, take this, oh, texture side up. Again, this is scrap. I drilled it earlier. <laughs> I wanted to place it in a different spot, but go ahead, put it where you want it. It could be anywhere. Go. Make sure. Whoop. Make sure you clean those. Now let's rivet. Doing the rivets on the outside. Now, figure out the shape you want it. All right, what I'll do is we're gonna come off here, right? Cause this is gonna be, it's gonna come down. So, try and make it even on both sides. All right, so I'm gonna cut outside the lines. This one's a little closer, but I'm gonna cut outside the lines and then we're going to cut across as well. And once you have it cut like this, square it up on your belt sander and get everything copacetic. All right, only thing left to do is two things. We're going to clean off my pencil markings. So with this design, 
Obviously, uh, this can separate from the top, no big deal. Um, you could also throw two rivets up there. You could cut, blah, 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 blah. You could do whatever you want with this, but I'm gonna show you the next step. I'm gonna do this on my strip heater because it's a little easier, but what I normally did or what I used to do is stick this end in your vise, heat up underneath it, and then bend it. But we're gonna do it on the strip heater because I have the tool, so why not use it, right? Got my heat ready. Okay, and all I'm doing is I'm gonna heat up right here and uh, I'm gonna do it on both sides. And then once you get there, I'm going to take it and bend it to where I want it. See that? Drum roll, please. Here it is, the finished product. beast is ready for some business cards. Bam! And there you are. I'll be honest with you, that took like seven minutes to make. It's not hard, it's very quick, and it literally... I use ginormous pieces. They, I did not need to use pieces that big. Literally, just this big. And, um, yeah, it's quick it's easy this was gonna be thrown away I sell these for $20 a piece it's so it's turning our trash into something that's profitable because that only took a couple time or a couple minutes the eyelets are what 11 cents each and then the, this was trash so bam there we go so think of things you can do with your scrap and offer it you know you got um, uh, lighter holsters, you know, or covers or anything like that. Um, I used to do ear savers for people that wore masks all the time and just literally skies or the options are endless. So have fun, be safe. And you know what? Maybe I'll just give this away. So if you want this, throw a comment below and uh, I'll pick someone that wants it. And um, I'll ask for your contact information. And I'll send it your way. We'll do that, even though I, I kind of like it. But again, I could always make more, and now you guys know how to do it. Cheers.